Hey guys, welcome in. Uh, this week we are still doing a bit more work on the floor. Uh, we're going to be grinding it back and giving it a rust proof and whatnot. We need to get all the timber out of here that we bought for the floor. We've got nowhere else to really store it, so we're just sort of bringing it in and out as we need to. What's going on in there? We've got our little security guard here. This is Tiger. He? He? She? He? He? He, he. he takes care of it when we're not here, don't you? No? Hey? hey, little fella, you're getting big, hey? He was only this big when we first got the bus here, weren't you? So first things first, we're going to tidy this up, grind it all back. It's pretty clean. Um, there's not much really that we're going to have to do. It's not like we're going to be grinding mills off it or anything. We're just going to be taking the top off just so the paint's going to sit nicely. And then, um, then the fun will begin. We'll be able to actually start building. Alright, so I've already changed our mind. <laughs> We've got the, the walls sitting there. But the floor, we're thinking we're just going to stack up on one side. So we'll probably grab him. I think lengthways are just right. We'll just lean him up against there. That'll open all that up. And then, um, yeah, once we need to get to them, we'll just swap them over to the other side. Run along the bottom of that. And we should be good to go, hopefully. So they've got a, a little bit of weight in them, but... They're the same size, um, thickness and whatnot of the, the boards that we ripped out last week. So, um, what we found was last week when we were doing the floor down here was, um, from the existing aircon unit, there was a bit of a leak. So the flooring down here was pretty busted anyway, it was rotten. So we've ripped that out, um, and we've got the same, same mill. I think it was, is that 17 mil? Pretty sure it's 17, I'd have to look at the receipt of the stuff. It was pretty damn good actually. Um, we got footage of when we went um, into Bunnings to get it. That was fun too, cause um, it's slippery and uh, it may or may not have slipped straight off the trailer as we're about to get on the highway, maybe. You all right in there? Hey, <laughs> having a win? Having, having a, win. a win. Give us a look, we're loaded up. Got that stuff there. And then we've got some floor and some wall and we're all sorted. Yay. Ooh. Looking all right? Yeah, well, it's looking better than it did five minutes ago when it was scattered across the ground. I mean, scattered across the ground. <laughs> we um, had ourselves a wee bit of a mischief just before. Didn't have time to record it, unfortunately, for viewers' purposes, because it was all over the bloody place. We had to um, clear the traffic congestion. Hey, look, there's our bus. <laughs> Not convincing, but we got there. One of the more stressful drives, but we did it. Yeah. But, um, whoops, but, uh, Anyway, so yeah, for that, I think it's, is it 80 wide? It's either 80 or 90 wide. It's 80, yeah. And it's three, 360 long, so 3,600 long. Um, so it works out four sheets. We'll do the whole floor uh, and we'll have a bit left over for boxing around the um, wheel, ar uh, wheel arches, wells, whatever you want to call them. And it was $39 a sheet. Or something so for the floor like for that material which it's pretty cool stuff um and it's got like the tongue groove there as well but we'll be obviously cutting it um yeah but for what it was i think like all up maybe 150 to 160 maybe something like that for the for the flooring so i don't know i'm pretty happy with that um but yeah so we're just gonna pop it up against the wall and continue on yeah, I'll marry a little way. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, 
Yes, some of you will be happy to know that I do have my working boots on again. Have been known throughout the comments to have my working boots on. And my beard needs to be braided apparently. So, might see if Zakai wants to do that tonight. Um, I don't even know what it'll look like. I'm sure it'll be cute. Hey? What do you reckon? <laughs> Zach, Zach has hit me up. There was a few comments about my beard and the grinder and stuff, so might um yeah, it's a car hit me up. She wanted to do it, so I might have that uh, for tomorrow when we're I took no. carrying on. Yeah, yeah. Not steel caps, but oh one. yeah, you're going alright. I've just all got right. actual riding boots on. Yeah, you're <laughs> sweet. Wearing all of my clothes. That's why I can't wear the correct PPE because she keeps taxing me clothes. But that's all right. I got me working boots on. Um, mm, it's all good. And as you can see over here, we've already changed our mind. We did say we we're going to pop them there. Whoop, the camera, yeah. There, but they're now there just because it was easier. But uh, anyway, good as gold. Holy dooly, they're like little jazz fingers. <laughs> Something I whipped up a little earlier anyway. That one's for Jill, she likes a bit of um, fuel for the old later on. <laughs> you sick, eh? Looks so good. Hello. Just um, come over here quick, Jill. Got um, a bit of ply there from the floor. And um, some just old glue. Hey, Tiger. What you doing? Tiger. <laughs> Legend. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. Just going to rip around with this little fella here. And just jimmy up all that old glue and whatnot. Um, so we can um, get the grinder pads onto it without stuffing them too early. supposed to be shown on this Jill. <laughs> uh, so I'm doing this while Jilly's getting a bit of that glue off the floor. I'm waiting for her to get up around the wheel arch and then I'll jump in with the grinder and bring that back in there while she keeps cruising along but in the meantime I'm just trying to keep busy. Um, I'm about to... <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> oh, Thank you. But um, yeah anyway so we're going to, I'll put them up so I'm not wearing me safety specs, PPE, thank you. Um, anyway, we're doing that um, from the window ledge down. Hello. Oh, they're all gone. Um, anyway, so from the window down, we're going to wrap to coat it. So it's like, um, it's hard to explain what it's like. It's sort of like It's like a the gritty, lining of a tray. Yeah, a it's, yeah. it's like a gritty pretty um type of paint and it's more so because we got this stuff here i just brought that back a little bit but that'll be all right i'm just gonna bring that back um so i'm not trying to bring that back too much i'm just sort of taking a bit of that off 
um, and then paint will be sweet. But here, I'm going to bring that right back in, bog it up, and then bring it back again before we paint it. But yeah, with the Raptor coat, like I don't know exactly how much it is just yet. I haven't gone in to get the paint. But from what I've sort of done my homework on, we should be able to do the whole bus from here down. Um, <clears throat> home jobby, but um, got all the gadgets, so we'll have a crack. But um, I'm thinking, thinking, in and in, thinking it's going to be around 400 bucks. So that sounds like a good deal to me. And um, yeah, it'll, it'll be different. Um, it'll be cool. And for the Australian roads and all that, because there's some pretty. Um, weary sort of tracks around Australia it'll just be extra added protection too for the for the body of the bus so but anyway that's miles away I'm just doing this because I was bored waiting on Jill to get the glue off the off the inside so anyway if you hear this going every now and then it's just me outside having a little zip 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 <laughs> back to work Gil things aren't they? Hey? Got you all worked up. Hey? Off you go. Oh, back to it. Is there another one? Three of them. Woo. I don't want that fuel bill. Right. No thank you. Like that's where we want it. Smooth as. How's the PPE for you? Fucking can be. Oh, I mean. <laughs> Beep. How's the PPE? It's great. Can't breathe properly in it, and it does nothing because my beard. But did I look the part? You looked fantastic. Someone will say that the grinder was too close to Dr. Wilson when I was coming through here, and I'm lucky <laughs> to still have my bits and pieces. But it's all right. You gotta got to start conversation somehow and yes yes I still have my work boots on safety first anyway you guys will be the ones having the laugh when I've got nine toes left at the end of the bus build not me <laughs> anyway we're getting somewhere it's good We've got some weather coming in at the moment. I think it's about to storm. Um, it's already spitting now. So we're going to have to go pick up Jed and Zakai. They're at my parents' house. So we're going to call it a day from here and then we are going to get cracking again in the morning. So we'll see you then. Hello. We've finished um, sort of bringing back the chassis and whatnot, the inside, the floor, and what have you. So today, I've just popped down to the old Mitre 10, got some cheap brushes, 
hooks. Um, this stuff normally get onto this once the uh, rum or wine's empty. Doesn't go too bad. Wouldn't recommend it though as first preference. But we've got today. We're going to use it to um, clean back the metal before we um, whack this fella on. Um, some primer, rust guard. Once that's done, then this fella will go on. Um, top coat stuff, blah blah blah. All of that sort of good jazz anyway. So cleaning it back at the moment with the terps. Uh, and then if we find any other spots that we've missed once we've cleaned all that stuff back, then we'll just give it another scrape with the wire brush and then another wipe with some terps, bring it all back, let that all set, and then yeah, we're gonna start on that um, primer. But uh, here's old Jilly, how you going in there? It's working really well. Is it? Yeah, it's getting it all off, so. Oh, nice. I don't think it should take too long at all, and then we'll be ready to yeah. paint it. Yeah. The rust proofer. Well, putting that extra effort in with the grinder and the brush has, has paid in, hasn't it? It took forever underneath here with the wire brushes. <laughs> I was down there just getting covered in it, but um, it's paid off. It's paid off, so should breeze through it now. Where's Jilly? <laughs> Going well so far. Jilly's just uh, working hard to make a living. Nah, seriously, she's kicking goals. She's doing all the fun parts. I got out of the hard jobs this morning. It's good. Real good, isn't it? Yeah, I've been underneath it actually. Having a ball. But nah, it's all coming up really well. We were just saying, um, yeah, just before there, how. Um, how good she's going to look once we get these um just the rust proofing done on it. it's just the difference it'll it'll make in in what it looks like it's just going to be awesome that's just a rust proofing that no one's going to see but yeah i guess all this hard work now is going to pay off in the long run you know if, if we'd have just kept the subfloor in and just built it up to to match the rest of the bus then yeah we probably would have been putting in cabinets and everything by now but um i don't know just Makes more sense to do it this way for us. We we get a bit of extra space in doing it. The we we know the floor is new. All sorts of stuff like that. But um, nah, it's good as good as beautiful little day out there. She's pretty muggy. We got um, what did we get last night? All up, there was like thirty mil or something I with like both thirty two mil, thirty ish mil. Both up. Um, we had a. A uh, bit of a storm yesterday afternoon and then through the night it was raining and um, as you can see it she's a bit oh, <laughs> a bit humid now I'm, it's just rolling off me but um yeah we're supposed to be getting some um, good rain later today so be awesome um, we're gonna we're gonna try and get this floor done um, and painted and uh, I've got to duck off halfway through poured chill but now I've got another project on the go so I'm just going to get some bits and pieces for that um, and it is to do with the channel but it's to do with maybe what you reckon two three years down the track yeah something like that two or three years down the track give or take and um so yeah pretty interesting anyway best get back to it can't let Jilly um, have all the fun I'm sort of don't know which one to sing I was gonna come out here and Got a couple of the, the horses. I was thinking I could do the old, um, you know, how would you get a good view of this? Maybe come up from here. We could do like cinematic and go, a well life on the farmer's car to lay back, ain't much an old country boy, McCain hat. Early to rise, early in the sack, thank God I'm a country boy. See, here they come. That did work. Or we could try this one, where maybe we'll come from the stable and pan left to right and lift and go that's the way it's gonna be little darling we'll go riding on the horses yeah yeah what do you reckon 
Country boy was heaps better, eh? Yeah, don't get paid enough to sing on a Monday morning anyway. Oh well, back to it. She's a bit sloppy after that rain last night. Good oh. See you, horse. We're finally getting the primer down to put the rust proofing on the floor and then we're all go. We're all go. We're getting somewhere now. It's, uh, it's been a long process and everyone's been letting us know that it's been a long process. Um, but yeah, it, what we're going to get out of doing it is uh, hopefully a lot more years than what we would have if we didn't. Um, so just a few things before we do get into it. I'm going to um, chuck it on time lapse and we're just going to punch out a bit anyway. Um, but yeah, before I do go too much further, with this bus, where uh, the original floor, there was a subfloor. So there's an aisleway straight down the middle and the subfloor either side was about three or four inches higher, right? Um, as you can see, the cuts on the wheel wells, that's how high the subfloor was on the left and right either side of the aisle there, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, that was the subfloor. All it was was ply. There was ply and like a vinyl floor covering. There was no no um, tin or steel or anything other than what you're seeing. The ply boards were just put on top. So we're not doing anything out of the ordinary um, with what we're doing. All we're doing is trying to bring this back. Um, it's not rusted or anything like that. That there is. We're well aware that that's rusted there. That's from the ex uh, the, the old aircon that we had pulled out. But this stuff here, it's good as gold. But all we're doing is we plan on living in this full time. It's not a weekend or anything like that. And not that that would really make a difference to us. But we just want the floor to be tip top. Uh, and for the sake, I think the paint was like $40, $50. And the floorboards... Uh, I think like $140 all up for the whole lot. So for the sake of $200 and a week's hard work, two weeks hard work to, you know, get the floor ripped out and a new one put in, I think it's going to be worth thousands later on down the years. What do you reckon? Well, we also get to learn what's under the bus. Yeah. Like if we hadn't pulled this up, we'd sort of, not that I'm an expert in it now, but I know a lot more where things are positioned. For sure. You know, if, if something goes wrong, we sort of know the area it's going to be in rather than just keeping the floor there and guessing. Yeah. So a lot of people have said like, why didn't you just do a spot fix? Cause sort of the corner where it was um, leaking here, the ply was a bit, yeah. what would you call it? Uh, yeah. 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 So I think it's better to do a job properly and take a long time to do it. And it'll pay off. Like, yeah. like Jeremy said, it's taken a while. It's taken a while for us. <laughs> we, we feel like we've been doing it forever, but it'll be worth it in the end. So yeah, everything's, everything's starting to, take shape now as soon as we filled those um little paint buckets up before it was like such a relief weight off the shoulders like woo, we're doing something, something so yeah. yeah um but yeah everything's sweet we're stoked with how it's coming along we've got a few things here that we're still got to remove so this is the um the old piping and whatnot um hose for the old air conditioning unit so we're going to run that up to the front see where it comes out we'll probably knock it off and then just um, bung it up or something uh, and then we'll end up just taking these out we've already gone through and um, loosened all the bolts and whatnot so that's all done um, but it might be easier for us to just grab the grinder out and um, we'll probably just end up knocking each section and then just pulling it through um, other than that yep yeah, we started on the chassis there so we're going to Going to tidy that up, get underneath, go through. We've already tidied it, gotten the um, just the flaky, rubbishy crap off, I guess. Um, so that's the main priority. However, it is in pretty good nick already. But like I said, 
for the, for the sake of two hundred dollars and and a bit of our time, we know that um, our floor is going to be tip top. And the best thing about it, I guess, is like we've given ourselves that extra three or four inch of room. So Jill and I uh, will never have to worry about hitting our head on the roof because we are um, on the shorter side anyway. I think we're both sort of. Um, we'll both punch on over who's tallest out of the five seven five eight sort of range so we're not exactly giants but with taking that floor out it's just going to be so spacious and we won't have to worry about you know ducking our head at all um so anyway i'm going to stop waffling on because this is gone forever but um we're going to get into this painting let's go Hey guys, uh, so as you can see, we're cracking on with the painting. It's going to take a while. There's um, so many little um, nooks and crannies we've got to get in there to make sure we're getting full coverage of the lot. So, um, Jilly and I, we're going to keep punching on. We're going to leave you to it. We'll see you in two weeks. See you in a fortnight for what I'm hoping, touch wood, if there was any wood over there, touch wood. We don't have any problems between now and then with um, the floor and that. The only thing I was just talking to Jill about was I would love to suss out the water tanks before we would cover, but we can work from below to do them. It'd just be so easy to be able to work from the top to get them done. But that's it for this um, fortnight. Thanks heaps for watching. Make sure button down below, the subscribe button, hit it so you can keep in touch with us. Make sure to comment, like, whatever you got to do. Um, we love the interaction and um, we'll catch us in a couple of weeks. Thanks, guys.